vacuum pump. This is the 2CFM cordless. See, it has a battery in there. I got this mainly for kitchen refrigeration, like uh, small reach-ins and some walk-ins mostly. So I don't have to run cords. Or when I'm doing like expansion valves and stuff like that in the cooler and I wanna do a quick vacuum on the coil. We'll see how it does. So first we have the charger here. Eighteen volt battery. They give you some oil in this cool little bottle. Here's the pump itself. Pretty small. If it works well, it should be really awesome to carry around. And here's some other products that they make. They make a lot of cool stuff. And the manual. The carrying bag is pretty cool. And you got a shoulder strap for it too, to carry it around. And um, yeah, it's a pretty cool little pump. Three eighths and quarter fittings on this one, on the 2CFM one. No ballast on this one, but it is a two stage uh, either way. And this bag here has a lot of pockets inside. A lot of pockets outside. Uh, we'll see if I figure anything out for this or what I'll carry with it. Either way, the bag's pretty cool. You got pockets all the way around. So yeah, I'm going to put this through and see what we can use it for. I don't know how big of a system it can handle, but we'll try it out. And that's how it fits in the case. You got a lot of room uh, in there to carry everything else if you need to. All right, guys. So then this first use that I had out of it, I used it on a evaporator coil. And I pulled through my gauges to see how well we could, we could pull a vacuum. Needless to say, it wasn't great. Uh, what I did on the second one here is I switched out my quarter inch hose for a 3 8 hose So it was 3 8 all the way through and it pulled down pretty good I had to cut it out at 900 because uh, we were in a hurry But this is where the magic happens. The true blue hose is phenomenal It pulled down really quick And I got it in the 200s uh, very easy and here we are again on a walk-in, but this is an old walk-in cooler. And we got it under a thousand. Sometimes I have to call it early. Uh, here's another walk-in cooler, another old one. Again, same thing. It pulls under a thousand pretty easy. And this was a compressor swap on a rooftop unit. And in my use, it's uh, units that are under 10 tons. I don't really do heavy commercial, but I would recommend this. And here we go again. I change out my torch kit so often, but this bag is so awesome. So I'm able to carry, you know, stuff for brazing, sandpaper, little rods or pieces. Got my wet rag, tubing cutter, all the stuff that I need. Uh, mirrors, reamers, everything for brazing basically, and vacuuming, of course. 
and my core removers and micron gauge can stay inside zipped up. And then I just stick my true blue holes in here. It's a little tight, but it fits. <laughs>